Mazi Simon in response to uh, Shewukuti calling him a small boy who is now supporting those that killed his father and killed his grandmother, threw them, threw her from the upstairs. And it appears he has not learned his lesson. Of most recent, he was arrested and almost uh, detained. Yet, it seems he has not learned lessons, uh, possibly, uh, what happened to his parents, that the ones who killed his parents could possibly be coming after him. Tell me, what you're trying to remind the Shehu Kuti is truth. It was Nigerian army or Nigerian government as of that time. Kill, uh, I have forgot her name, the grandmother of Shehu Kuti, which was mother of Fela. And if you come to that woman, that woman played a very active role for Nigeria independence. She struggled hard for Nigeria independence. But you see how Nigeria pay her back by throwing her down from two-story building or so. This is one Nigeria. As, as I said it before, all of them that fight for one Nigeria, see where they are ending. And Shahu uh, himself may not understand. And it was the same Nigerian government tortured the fella, jailed the fella several times until finally fella give up. I think fella give up, is it in the time of Abacha or Babangida? Where there was a rumor that he was injected. Before his brother, I think Beko, Kuti, came to clear the air that the fella wasn't injected. And if you watch this uh, uh, Shehu Kuti, by age, although he's a matured man now, by age, people and elderly people who know exactly what happened from 70s to 80s to 90s, Shehu is a, a child to them. And the, most of the history may not be told him you know, Nigeria like to hide the history. Any history that will make the upcoming generation to know what happened, that against them, against those upcoming generation, Nigeria like to hide it. And as some, our Prime Minister Samuel Nepa said, that those that kill the parents, don't he know that they will come after him? That is exactly what always happened. La, that's an adage said in Igbo language. Which, which means that thing that killed mother rat will not allow the children of rat, that rat, to see road. But if I may ask, uh, is it not about time for Shewukuti to begin to ask and demand for justice for the torture? Of course, a method out to his father that led to his death, rather than ranting and uh, distracting himself, accusing Sunday Bowu and uh, Simon Epa of being cowards. In fact, uh, you should have made such statements if you understood the implication of uh, her losing her mother and even grandmother. her grandmother and his father as a result of the injustice or perceived injustice that have been sustained in Nigeria. Rather than asking for questions, he resort, of course, to ranting or perhaps distorting himself. In Nigerian case, Nigerian cases, you don't die, you don't die. Nigerian case, when Nigeria are persecuting you, although you are right, they are persecuting you, it's very hard after the death of that person for the children or descendants of that person to come and ask compensation from Nigerian government is very hard. Very, 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 very hard. It's one out of one million. Look at the Biafran soldiers who, who were once Nigerian soldiers because of the, the war. They left Nigerian soldiers and joined Biafran army. 
and fought on behalf of Biafra. As the war ended, look how many years it took Nigeria to do what? To say, ah, we are trying to compensate you. We are trying to pay your entitlement. From 1970, the war ended. Till 20, I think 2018 or 2019. When Buhari said, come, let me pay you. Most of them have died. Most of their children don't know where the document of their father concerning enrollment in army where. Including I myself. My father has died long ago. He was a veteran uh, Biafran warlord. Though he joined the Nigerian army uh, prior to, to the Biafran war, then he helped to defend his own ancestral home. You see, and now you are, you are, you are, you are his, his son, direct. But you don't know where his document is. There are so many people like that. So Nigeria is not your country that they pay compensation. You understand? After the death. If you don't, if you manage to co collect, if you are not able to collect your compensation when you are alive, forget about it. The death has nothing to do with Nigerian compensation. Okay, look at uh, look at uh, this. Uh, um, what did they call it? Retirement uh, fund P. Uh, what what what? That will be deposited after the retirement. They be paying you. How many of them are collecting their own in Nigeria? How many of them are collecting their own in Nigeria? So I. Uh, uh, I think uh, Rasa um, Shehu to rise up to ask him something like that is uh, he trying to I mean to waste time for it. It's not to waste time for it. And if you watch the person who I may say, according to Bart Wright, that the full stand to ask all those things was uh, Femi. And if you watch Femi, Femi is a gentleman. Like this in a show who said, Femi cannot come out and say it. Femi cannot come out and say it. And if you watch at the show, show acted according to his own understanding. As a boy. As how we feel. You know, there's an adage in Igbo language. As what as about Anasanafo. Which means if you ask a child to go and get your bath. He will first of all carry the water, start washing he or her belly. That's exactly what is happening to Shehu. But I thank God that Shehu said this thing, and people who knows may call him to correction against tomorrow. Against tomorrow. I think Shehu may born in the 80s. May born between 81, 80, 81, 84, between that range. Can you take him to compile people that have gone before the war? Or people have, that have gone after the war? People that have born in the 70s? Can you take him to compile them in some certain things that happened that time? And whatever that happened before you were born, unless somebody told you before you will know. If nobody tell you, you will not know.